At 11 o'clock, this is Observer Radio News. Good morning, I'm Ryan English. It's 10 degrees and sunny outside our East York studio. In the news today, Toronto police are searching for a 22-year-old woman. The CBC reports that Elizabeth Cherwa left her house on April 20th in Don Mills and has been missing ever since. She's said to suffer from a condition similar to schizophrenia. The police have already searched for her but are now planning to knock on doors in the neighborhood in hopes that someone has seen her in the past week. One elderly woman is dead and another man is in critical condition after a house fire in the Lawrence Park area. According to the CBC, the woman was in her 80s and died in the two-story house fire. The man was trying to rescue her and was seriously burned in his arms, hands and feet and is recovering at Sunnybrook Hospital. The cause of the fire is still unknown. A fuel truck in Montreal exploded while filling up at a Petro Canada on Tuesday night. The explosion was so powerful that it sent the driver of the truck flying through the air. Eight people were taken to hospital and are in a state of shock. According to the CBC, it took 10 fire trucks to put the fire out. A man in southern China walked into a primary school and stabbed 17 students and one teacher. According to the CBC, the severity of the injuries are still unknown and there's no word on the motive of the attack. The same day, another man was put to death for killing eight children in a very similar scenario. Turning now to sports. The World Cup has made a quick stopover in Canada. According to the CBC, the trophy, along with K-9, landed at Pearson this morning. It will do a whirlwind tour of Toronto TV stations before taking off on an eight-month world tour. The Detroit Red Wings beat the Phoenix Coyotes 6-1 in Game 7 last night. According to the CBC, the Red Wings are now in Round 2 of the playoffs and hope to win the Stanley Cup for the fifth time. The Coyotes' Ilya Brzgalov said the Red Wings played an unbelievable game. The OFSAA Provincial Boys High School Basketball Championship Tournament ended with a bang and a Toronto team coming out on top. Of the 18 teams invited to the tournament, five of them were from Toronto. That list included gold medalists Oakwood Collegiate Institute and bronze medalist Mother Teresa Catholic Secondary School. Mother Teresa assistant coach Bob Clement credits his team's success and bronze medal victory to the heated competition that comes from the congestion of schools in the city. A lot of the kids play ball in the community and stuff and uh, um I think it breeds a sort of a toughness, a tough mentality, you know, they're very competitive and uh, I think it gives us an edge in a lot of uh, games that we play. With Oakwood and Mother Teresa finishing in first and third respectively, Toronto holds on to bragging rights for boys high school basketball. Hockey Night in Canada is enjoying its best rating since 2004. According to the CBC, there was an average of almost 1.5 million fans tuning in each night during round one of the playoffs. A large chunk of those viewers were also watching the game online. And now for entertainment. Pop superstar Adam Lambert is finally hitting the road. According to PerezHilton.com, the American Idol second runner-up says he hopes his fans will fall into a world of glam, drama, and excitement. His tour kicks off on June 4th in Pennsylvania. British pop sensation Susan Boyle is already planning a Christmas record, and it looks like it's going to be a big one. According to PerezHilton.com, Amazon has already gotten 2 million requests for the record, and it hasn't even been written. Boyle was quoted as saying she's hoping to make it better and a bit extra special. And that's Observer Radio News. For more news, check out our website at torontoobserver.ca. I'm Ryan English. Thanks for listening, and have a wonderful day.